Shalom, La Habakarium, Shal Yashallah. Peace to the elect of Israel. Started with the 144,000 elect men, 12,000 from each tribe, which consists of the so called blacks, so called Hispanics, so called Native American Indians, and you Israelite foreigners. Israelites who are scattered among all other nations. Shalom to all of you. All right, before we get started with this lesson, let's face the East. And let's give the much ado all phrases, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha, Kodash, Koholoyim La, Abanawa, Alahaya Nawa, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha, Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders and bishops of Great Millstone. And much due respect to you, since they are Akim that's laboring in the works. And shalom to you, believers, to the Akim wa Akwat which will be you brothers and few of my sincere sisters who do subscribe to this truth. All right, Abarasaza, this uh, MOTB lesson is edifying and very plain upon the table, straight to the point. I'm your brother Maokaya out here in Pasadena, Texas. It's going to be a response to the Hopeful Elect 3. That's what the brother's YouTube channel is. It all leads, it all leads to the implementing of the Mark of the Beast, the MOTB, mentioned in the book of Revelation, chapter uh, 13, verse 16 and 17. All right, we're going to play this clip right quick. semiconductor industry. Microchip technology has received a $162 million grant with $72 million of that going toward expanding its facility in Gresham. Fox Falls Drew Marine was there as the CEO spoke about what that means for the community. Drew? Yeah, not only will this money help them expand their facility and get new equipment, but it will create new jobs, which Gresham's mayor says is important to him. A multi-million dollar investment from the Chips and Science Act is going right into Gresham to semiconductor company Microchip Technology. It's a good day for Microchip, all of our employees. Uh, it's a great day for Gresham and for the state of Oregon. It's a fantastic day for America as we bring back more manufacturing, more national security related activities back here into the U.S. itself. And for that, we're extremely grateful. Extremely happy. CEO Ganesh Morthy says the $72 million award will help them expand their facility, get new equipment to increase their output of semiconductors and microcontroller units, and create jobs in Gresham. With investments like this, Mayor Travis Stovall says it doesn't just benefit the company, but the community at large, especially because he says Microchip not only hires locally, but they help forge a career path for students before they graduate. They're already working with Mount Hood Community College, Rosemary Anderson High School, all of our school districts to ensure that there is a pipeline here in the area of right to education and jobs here. Uh, well, some of their jobs pay north of $100,000 annually, without a college degree, with just a high school or high school equivalency. Those are the types of jobs we want and need in our community to ensure that we are going to move people from poverty and prosperity. Microchip is also one of the first three companies to have their Oregon Chips Act contracts finalized. The act developed a grant to support semiconductor companies looking to grow in Oregon and opened up the opportunity for federal funding. Microchip technology will be getting $11 million from the state this month, and it's a bill representative, Nell Bynum, sponsored. My belief is that economic justice is social justice, and so if we can have strong econ economic investments in our communities, then our kids do better, our schools are thriving, our parks are beautiful and clean, um, the community is anchored with businesses that really care, and that public-private partnership is really hard to beat. The other $90 million awarded from the Federal Chips and Science Act will help them modernize and expand their facility in Colorado Springs. Live in Gresham, Drew Marine, Fox 12, Oregon. All right. <clears throat> so right here, right, 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11 in the KJV. Lee Satan should get an advantage of us for we are not ignorant of his devices right satan the illuminati's right 
the the wicked elites, right? Should get advantage of us, Abaratta, you know, us, the hopeful elect seeking to be of the elect, right? The members of the body of Yahweh Shah Mashiach, those who are in the secret council of Yahweh Bashmi Yahushai, the elect. Least Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his vices, right? We're not lacking knowledge or awareness of his schemes, his 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 uh his evil purpose. Okay. Let's get that right quick. So you can see for yourself. Um Second Corinthians two eleven. Right. Satan in this instance referring to the elites of this society. An example, the Illuminati. Alright. Alright. The wicked elites, the parasite, the parasitic people, the Edomites, Amalekites. Um okay. Uh Dumians. Edomites. All right. Satan, in this instance, referring to the elites of this society. An example, the Illuminati. All right. So when you go into devices, right? Let's see. You go, you get number two. All right. An evil purpose. And what's that evil purpose? That the wicked elites of the society are trying to fulfill the NWO, New World Order, a digital beast system, right? To where, in order to partake in that system, right, the, the New World Order, you have to be uh, a servitude. You have to receive your badge of servitude, right? Uh, your badge of bondage, ba uh, badge of slavery, your badge of being a follower of anti. Yahweh Shai Mashiach, right? The anti Messiah, Yahweh Shai. Um, right? It's, when you get that in a common dictionary, if I'm not mistaken, um, let's see. No, uh, bear with me, Baba Shai. In the common dictionary for devices, let's see. I remember looking. see okay so number two right when you read it now for device number two a plan method or trick with a particular aim and what are the wicked elites of the society are trying to aim for to fulfill their nwo right all roles lead to the implementing of the motb the market of beast so don't be deceived, right? Don't be ignorant, right? Ignorant. Ignorant. Lacking knowledge or awareness in general, uneducated or unsophisticated. Lacking knowledge, information, or awareness about a particular thing. So, right, so the elect. Right, the, the we being a hopeful elect, been blessed by Yahweh Bashmi Yahushai with the Rechak Wadash, the Holy Spirit, to not uh, be lacking knowledge, information, or awareness of our enemy, our greatest enemy, um, Esau Edom, so called white man, the way to lease of the society, their evil purpose, okay? All right, the NWO. Um, 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11. Lee Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. Now, hopefully, you can better see it, you know, understand the scripture uh, better than before. So let's get um, the revelation, the Quran scripture. We want to 
go down to verse 16 and 17. All right. Revelation chapter 13 and verses 16 and 17. And he, right, the wicked elites, and he cause of all. In another version, I think, if I'm not mistaken, the NLT, New Living Translation, he required everyone, right? And then if, there's another version which said he forced everyone, something like that. These are NIV, um, right? And he caused of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, right? He's going to require everyone. The weak elites are going to require everyone. You could be a millionaire, all right? You could be a celebrity, right? All the way down to your, your, your local cashier at the bodega. All right, even uh, uh, someone who would be considered as homeless, all right, are going to have to receive his mark. And he calls of all, both small and great, right? So, you know, even young and old, children, elders, old people, right? And he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark. A mark in in their right hand or in their foreheads. So I think of that brain chip, the neural link for the foreheads, right? This uh, fight that the M O T B, right? This thing right here, M O T B, the mark of the beast, the implantable R F I D microchip. All right, you see the X ray right there. All right, that's the mark in the hand, and you can also think of the brain chip, all right, the neural link, all right, this thing, thing right here. All right, all right, and he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bonds to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Right, a mark, the RFID radio frequency identification microchip. The word for mark is charagma, which means an incision. You are forbidden. You are forbidden to take the chip anywhere on your body. Right, incision. Incision. A surgical cut made in skin or flesh. Okay. And when you get this right, when you get this word cut, let's see. Right? A long, narrow incision in the skin made by something sharp. Uh oh. What is that? What is that right there? Come on, man. You can't tell me. This is not the MOTB. You cannot, you cannot tell us that. Come on, man. All right. Incision. A surgical cut made in skin and flesh. Right? So, let's go back here. A mark. The RFID chip. Or the RFID. The RF. ID microchip, the word for mark is charagma, which means an incision. You are forbidden to take the chip anywhere on your body. Verse 17, and that no man, right, no one, men, women, children, young, old, free, bond, rich, and poor, no, no one, right? And that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. So let's go into mark. All right, we're going to go a little deeper into this word mark. All right. Strong G 5480. Chagoma. All right. 
um, a scratch or etching. All right, when you go into the word etching, we also get cut as a similar term. And the word cut is, it'll go into, uh, let me get that right quick so you can see for yourself. All right, etch. All right, you get cut, All right? So it's going to say this word cut. A stroke or blow given by a sharp edge implement or by a whip or cane. Okay. A stroke or blow given by a sharp edge implement or by a whip or a cane. A sharp edge. What? Oh, starting to make sense now, right? I'm about to that is. All right. Badge of servitude, right? As a badge of servitude, a badge of bondage, a badge of slavery. All right. Servitude. Servitude. The state of being a slave or completely subject to someone more powerful. Who is currently more powerful? Who is it that you be completely subject onto? Right? more powerful. The earth was given to the who? To the so-called Caucasians, the Edomites, the wicked, the wicked elites. All right? This is who you'd be completely subject onto in their B system, in their new world order. All right? You will be, you get slavery, enslavement, bondage, subjugation, subjection, domination. So you, in order to be in this uh, new world order of theirs, which it will fail miserably, you have to be a slave. You have to be uh, bondage, the state of being a slave. All right. So you better not take that thing thing. Better not take that sea hip. And then also, when you take this sea hip, right? Um, number one, write the outline of the mark stamped on the forehead or the right hand as the badge of the followers of the Antichrist, which is uh, anti Mashiach, your anti Yahweh Shah, anti he saves, he delivers. So not only you got to be a slave. In this new world order, but you have to be against the Messiah. So as an Hebrew Israelite, so-called black, Hispanic, Latino, Native American Indian, you take this man's uh, uh, badge of servitude, right? You are now uh, followers of anti Yahweh Shah. You're, you're against our Lord, all right? Which makes you uh, an, uh, an enemy, okay? You also get down here of idolatrous images, okay? Um, my bad. So we're gonna read that again, and hopefully you better understand it, you can see it now, okay? Revelation chapter 13, verse 16 and 17. And he calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name is going to buy right quick strong's g59 agarazo okay agarazo all right, you want to get straight to the point here. Go to the outline, right? To be in the marketplace, to attend it, to do business there, to buy or sell there, of idle people, to haunt the market, to lounge there, right? So the things that we're able to do today, society, right? You can still attend the marketplace, right? You can still go to the grocery store and get you know, whatever you desire to, to purchase, you no know, food, water, medicine, 
you know, uh, your basic commodities, you know, your victuals, right? You can still do that, okay? All right? If you got the business, all right, you can still do business. You can still buy or sell. Uh, you can still lounge in public facilities like hotels, um, coffee shops. Uh, enter a place of dwelling. Have a roof, a, a roof over your head, right? Lounge. Uh, it's not a fucking place, man. Oh, okay. Let's see. Uh, trying to get the definition. What the hell is going on? Okay, it's a lot of for that. Uh, let me just get it from here. Lounge. Definition. Lounge. So when you go to the noun, number one, right? A public room, as in a hotel, theater, or club, in which to sit or relax. So if you want to be able to enter public rooms, a sitting room, common room, cocktail lounge, you want to be able to go to the club, bars, get a little drink here and there. Do the same wicked bullshit you're doing every weekend. You want to go to a theater. You want to watch a movie out, out and about. You want to go to a hotel to do your your your, mat, your betris, mattress, actress, going on you know, the OnlyFans bullshit, catching flights, and, you know, whatever whatever that, that goes on in these fucking hotels nowadays, motels, and et cetera. All right. You're traveling, whatever. You want to go to the airport, catch a flight, go to Dubai, get locked up. Uh, you're going to have to be a, a slave in the system, right? The badge of servitude. Okay, you got to be followers of the anti Hamashiach, right? In order to lounge, right? In order to buy, to agarazo, to still partake this uh, this society, this system, okay? In a new world order to come, which will fail miserably, Okay? Now let's get one more. Let's get to uh, the judgment scripture for this. There's no place of repentance when you take this. Okay? Revelation chapter 14. And verse 9. And you notice the title is Doom for Worshippers of the, of the Beast. So doom, destruction to those who get sea hipped up. Okay? Revelation chapter 14, verse 9, 10, and 11. Just, yeah, 9 through 11. Verse 9 in the KJV. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man, woman, right, anyone, right, small, great, rich, poor, free, bond, anyone, men, women, children, young, old, and a third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his right hand or on his forehead, right, the image, right, when it says right here, and his image, right, the image represents the image of the Roman Empire. An example, its laws, legislations, Architecture, etc. You can read that in First Maccabees chapter eight, verses thirteen to sixteen. The Roman Empire, the Roman Empire has been reincarnated today as America. All right. Verse ten. So anyone that 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 takes a sea hip, right? Check this out, verse 10. The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. Right? His, 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 his anger. See, anger. Okay? His righteous anger. All right? Um, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone, the lake of fire, the thermonuclear destruction that's going to come to America real soon. 
and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels. Right, the actual, you know, the angels will be present during the deliverance of the elect here in America and wherever else they're scattered at outside of America, but mainly it's here. And in the presence of the Lamb, our Lord, our Savior, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, presence of the holy angels. The angels will be present delivering the elect when America is destroyed. America will be destroyed by thermal nuclear destruction, thermal nuclear fire. Okay? And everyone, uh, every Israelite here who did not come back and serve Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, and all your other nations that's here in America, you just gonna you, you just you just gonna be put to death. All right, there's no uh, place for repentance, salvation for you other nations that's here in America, when this place is about to uh, be destroyed. Okay, no place of repentance for so-called white people, the Edomites, and you and the actual heathens. Okay, non-Israelite people. Okay, so yeah, uh, we read in uh, Revelation chapter thirteen. Uh, was verse 16 right that you know it is forbidden to take the sea hip anywhere in your body you will be put to death there's no place for repentance do not take the MOTB alright our baratas out the lesson was edifying playing upon the tables alright I'm gonna leave uh, this video that I did a response to to the brothers uh, hopeful elect 3 in the description box so if brothers want to uh, do a lesson on it, or if you haven't subscribed yet to his brother's channel, I highly suggest you subscribe to it. He uploads a lot of videos of what's going on around the world. If you're trying to look for like a, a lesson, a topic to do a lesson on, you can come to this brother's page. There's another brother that goes by Arrows of Indignation 144, uploads a lot of uh, like in the news, like world videos. Um, and another brother uh, in Doherty's last days. Those like the main three I be uh, checking out to look for videos of what's going on around the world to do a lesson on. All right. So Abba Ratzis I was edified. All right. Hopefully it was uh, plain upon the tables. Feel free to leave a comment in the uh, comment board, I guess you could say. All right. Let's close out by giving a much to do all phrases, honor, and glory to. Yahweh Bahashom, Yahweh Shai, Bahashom, Racha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders and bishops of Great Millstone. And much due respect to you, sincere Akim, that's laboring in the works. And Shalom to you, believers, to the Akim Wa Akwa, which be your brothers and few amount of sincere sisters who do subscribe to the truth. All right, shout out